my friends welcome back to my 200 3d CAD models in free CAD series today I want to work on exercise 24 exercise 24 is a model that best done in part design so let's go ahead and then create a body in part design and the next step is to create a sketch but I want to process the technical drawing real quick and I want to keep that on so this one I want to start working on this face on the side view so which is on XZ plane right so there that's my XZ plane now let me fix the center of the image to one of these corners I don't have any circular object in this sketch so getting into one of the corners is the next best thing to do all right now let's start sketching on XZ plane that's what I want to start sketching now all uh, the main reason I started drawing this in part design is the shape of the object as you can see the inner part is 10 millimeter wall thickness from the outside which can easily be done in part design using the offset tool so because I'll be using the offset tool I don't want to draw the inside right now I just want to put these parameters in there and then do the inside so previous video I talked about a little bit about spreadsheet I want to continue the discussion in this video as well so let's go ahead and then create a spreadsheet real quick I want to have few parameters in there So first thing I want to have is the object height, all right? And the next thing is object width. And the last thing is the object length. So object height is given as 70. Object width is given as 150. Or rather I'm gonna say that's the length 150 and the width is given as 100 now we have to do the alias thing so this is object height and this is object width as I mentioned in the previous video in the alias we cannot provide any spaces so everything will be punched together as one word so that's creating the spreadsheet I think that's good enough for now let's go back to sketching and so this point is object height millimeter away so I want to say this is spreadsheet dot object height so object height right now and then this is the object width all right and I'm going to say that's object width I think spreadsheet dot object width okay right and we will worry about the length in a little bit I picked the wrong one so it will be actually the length and the width is 100 which is we will be using the extrusion and we still have two degrees of freedom on this so which are actually this length which is 60 
right so we'll just keep it as 60 and this point is 30 millimeter away from now that is our fully constrained sketch I want to say sketch outer right and so we, we got that keyed in with our spreadsheet we will use that in a bit so first thing first I want to make a pad out of this which will be 100 millimeter which happens to be the object width so I'm going to go ahead and then say spreadsheet dot object width 100 so there is that so we got the outside part of that built out now as I said it will be easier for me to build the inside using the part design and that specific feature I will be using is this object shape binder sub object shape binder so what I want to do is I want to select on this face and I want to make a binder out of it so that's uh, taking the face actually so what it does is take the face and make a shape on there and this binder okay this binder can be offset in both positive and negative directions like so on this one we know that the wall thickness is 10 millimeter which is inward so I'll have to say minus 10 and that puts down inward now this shape this binder also works as a sketch so what I can do is I can select the binder as a sketch and then use this button where it says pocket so it says create a pocket with the selected sketch which in case is a binder for us so we can select that one and you can see it is taken five millimeter downward a pocket which is a, like you know uh, a cut uh, from the boolean operation from the part workbench equivalent and on this one we want to take it all the way down which happens to be 100 right uh, so we can say 100 or we can say 100 that will take it down or we can say through all so it will just take everything throughout there so we got that one so that makes simple we didn't have to draw another sketch just took the binder out of it and then made a deduction so that's that's the part design specific feature that I wanted to use in this model the next step is to actually create this middle hole which is pretty much same as if it was I was doing in in part workbench what I want to do is I want to draw that hole on XY plane and make a cut so I can do that by creating the sketch on this face which happens to be XY plane because it's from the top so if I see from the top this XY plane so I can go ahead and then create a sketch on XY plane so XY plane that's why I want to create the sketch and so this will be this part will be taken down for that I need this line to be present in our sketch as a reference so I'm gonna go ahead and take that line and there is the hole that I will be cutting out so let me take a look at that okay I, it, this hole has to be centered the easiest way to do that is actually draw two lines on both sides right it doesn't have a reference point so let me make these two horizontal so draw two lines at the end and make them equal now this is in the center so it's not going anywhere it's in the center right take this point put it on this line and so it's fixed except this line uh, which is 100 I remember if I remember correctly and this is happens to be 60 all right so we got that part sorted out right now what I want to do I want to make a cut actually I see those two lines that I used as, as the centering tool visible so let me go ahead and then make them construction geometry so construction geometry what it does is the lines are there for our use during the sketching but it won't show up when I'm using a pad 
or anything else. So actually the construction geometry are like centering or like scaffolding uh, during building construction. You are using them, but actually you are not using them. Uh, so if that makes sense. So we got this sketch. I'm going to rename that as sketch hole, right? And make a pocket out of it, make a pocket out of it. So I selected that and clicked pocket. As you, if you remember the first time when I said click pocket and then it showed five millimeter depression into it, but it's not showing here, which means there is difference between the first pocket that we created and this pocket. And the most likely that issue is this pocket is being on the uh, away from the face. So let's select reversed. Yeah, there it is. So there's the pocket. So if, if it doesn't show up, most likely it's going the other direction that um, so click reverse and now we do the same thing hit through all so that takes the pocket so that's kind of like as I said that's a boolean operation built into per design um, the cut boolean operation so that's our object this is the end of 24 now let's go ahead and then see if our spreadsheet values are working let's go ahead and say 85 yep say 90 say 25 so that's working how about the object width 150 mm. so it's still in the center so our centering method worked 100 how about the length say 200 now there is that so when we made it 250 see the hole is staying on this line and it's not extending so the hole is not being proportionate with our model and that's a problem so like 100 it's not even taking the value so 150 is taking so what we have to do is we have to make this dimension proportionate with our length this length value so let's go back to the pad and find that sketch okay double click on it so what is going on is this 30 and 60 are the fixed value which is not being referenced from the Excel sheet. So let's find a way to make them proportionate based on this 150. What I'm going to say is 30, I'm going to make that. So 150 over 50, that's three over five, that's 30. So what I can do is I can say spreadsheet dot object length over five. So that's 30, right? So what it does is it's now taking this 30 as part of this 150. Let's do the same for 60. So what I want to do is I want to make that factor 150 over 60. That's 2.5. So I want to make it like spreadsheet dot object length over 2.5. So that's 60. So we didn't change anything on the sketch, but actually we did change a massive amount of thing within the sketch. Uh, what it means is like now I can go make this 100, still the problem for lower value. So, or we can go it say 175. So the changes are proportionate now. 300 so the changes are proportionate now but it's only the length of this area this hole we have to do something about the hole so let's bring it back to 150 right and let's go to the next sketch sketch hole all right, so this was 100. The overall length is 150. Let's go ahead and make this spreadsheet divided by 3, right, times 2. So that's 100. All right, let's do the same for 60. I remember the factor was 2.5. So spreadsheet dot length divided by 2.5. So we made everything proportionate 
to this either of these three values. Now let's give it a try. Say 200. Okay, that's proportionate. 300. Oh, that's too much. 250. All right, we did not want to change this 100. That would be because that would have to be linked with this value, which is object width. Now you see it is 100 and the object width is 100. So that messed up the value. So let's go back. Okay, so there's the problem. All righty, we do this one and another construction geometry okay this will be 60 and this will be 100 right okay and what else these two will be equal okay so we got our object back let's go back and then make them parametric so this 100 this will be related to spreadsheet dot length divided by two divided by three times two so that's one and 60 i want to link that with this 100 so this will be spreadsheet dot width right divided by 10 times six so there so we got that sorted out let's give it a try again should be working fine say 200 right 150 right 125 so this object is fully functional full parametric i can change any of these values and the object will will be the changes will be reflected within the object proportionately so that's that's what it is called parametric model and um, it took me several trial and error and which is part of the game which is part of the game like when uh, making a, a model parametric it if somebody will have to be really really lucky to get it done in the first step so patience should be part of the package when we are working on making a model fully parametric in one of the next videos, I will show what is called the configuration. There will be three configurations and then I, I, want, I will show you all how to make that out of the spreadsheet. But today, that's all for parametric design on this, on this exercise. I hope you liked it. Uh, I will see you next time. Bye.